Thanks for joining us for 27 News at 6. I'm Rebecca Chung. We're less than two weeks away from Election Day, and many people in Kansas are starting to vote early. As voters go to and from the polls, there are some laws candidates must follow even after Election Day. 27 News reporter Gabriel Johnson is live near the Shawnee County Election Office in South Topeka. And Gabe, what do these laws say? Yeah, well, people have likely seen political signs all over Topeka. Now, I'm here at the Shawnee County Election Office, and staff here tell me that those vote here signs that you see off in the distance are about as close as political signs can get. Now, a distance of 250 feet or farther is acceptable, but not just at polls. Signs can only be up in the public right of way between the curb and the sidewalk. Shawnee County Election Commissioner Andrew Howell tells me that they check twice each day to make sure that no signs are within 250 feet. Currently, the only place that's operational as a polling place is here at the Shawnee County Election Office. We haven't had anybody yet that I'm aware of that's violating that. Uh, and like I said, we do offer that map for candidates to make it fairly easy to tell if they're closer than the 250-foot rule. After Election Day, it's up to the candidates to remove their signs. They have two days to do so before they're hit with a $50 fine for each day following the two-day grace period. Now, something that's important to know is that the 250 feet actually starts at the front door, which is all the way back there, not the corner of the building. So a lot of the signs may end up being closer. They may seem a little bit closer than they actually are. Working for you live in South Topeka, Gabriel Johnson, 27 News.